We're going to create our Flame mobile app game with Flutter so that the game is in landscape mode. We're going to convert it from portrait mode over to landscape to get this type of visual storytelling where the boy and the girl has some type of romantic relationship. As we're building on a Pixel 4 right now, we have a consistent screen dimensions. And so to actually get the initial layout, we can simply hard code the position of the boy and the girl on the on the screen using the X and Y coordinates that we covered in the last video. So to move the boy over to the right, uh, we're going to set the X value to a higher number. Zero is all the way on the left hand side. And at this time, we don't know the exact width of the screen. So we'll just place them at 300. We're going to hard code this value in right now. So thinking that maybe the boy's going off to war and the girl is trying to tell him to stay and he's going to go anyway. The Y coordinate is positioned from the top of the screen going down, right? So it's 100 pixels down. That would be the head of the character. In order to start to position the character better, I'm going to create a variable for the character size. It's a one-to-one -one ratio for the width and the height. So if I just set one variable here for the... Uh, character size, we can use it for both the width and the height for this particular uh, avatar. I'm going to set it to final double because we're not going to be changing the size of the character at this point in, in the tutorial. It's actually a double, not an integer like what I have here. That's an error. So I'll, I'll set it to 200 uh, initially because I'll be working primarily with the Pixel 4, but if you're always running on a tablet or a desktop or a web browser, uh, you might want to alt actually alter the character size based on how big the screen is. And I'll show you how to get the width and the height of the screen very shortly. Since we're using a variable to set the character uh, width and the height, it gives us a lot more flexibility. If we do want to change the size of all the characters on the screen, uh, potentially based on how big the actual screen is that we're working with. Flame Game gives us a property called size, which is the size of the screen that we're dealing with for our game. So using that size property, we can set up the new variables for screen width and screen height. The size property is actually a two element vector, but we can treat it or access it similar to how we'd access a list. So zero is the width, one is the height. Now that we know the width and the height of the screen, we can also set the position of the two characters, the boy and the girl, based on some calculation of what the width is and the, and the height. So this puts you in a better position to show off your talents or your game on, let's say, a web page, maybe on a GitHub page. However, for this tutorial series, we will be focusing on Android because I find it a little bit easier to work with. It does work on the web. Using this strategy of grabbing the size of the screen, adjusting the character position and size of the character based on the screen size, you should be able to support uh, a number of devices that you want to do for your testing or to share with your friends. I'm also thinking of a visual novel type of setup here where it looks for the bottom of the screen, but it puts a, a little block at the bottom so that we can place some text there Maybe the girl is making her pitch to the guy not to go off to war or something. I'm going to add another uh, variable here for the height of the text box. And I'll use that to uh, subtract it from the uh, height of the screen and the character. What I want to do is push the boy and the girl up about 100 pixels so that I can give a little space there for the... Uh, the text or banner like she'll be saying don't go to battle and he's going to say oh i have to go so with this adjustment i have a little space now that i can use in the future to add some text next uh, let's add the background and make the characters move there's different ways to add the background but since we're already dealing with sprite components let's just build on that and then you can learn about sprite components and layering uh, which so we'll just add the background in as a standard image. I'll call it background.png. I'm going to run Flutter pub get again. After I run Flutter pub get, I'm going to stop the application, 
not hot restart. I'm just going to stop it and restart it and start it again. So the process is pretty uh, similar to what we did before. You first need to instantiate a background variable. Uh, I didn't do it yet here, so it might be a little bit confusing, but uh, once you instantiate the background variable, then you can add the different properties, including the sprite onto it. I'm going to combine this with the add statement. We're going to set the property size of the background to the same property size that is from flame game. So that second size property on the right hand side of the equal sign is the size of the screen which we're getting from flame. The first size after the two dot dot, uh, that's the property of the background sprite component which we're about to instantiate here. So similar to what we did before, uh, data type sprite component background is variable that we're using and then sprite component with the two round parentheses to instantiate it. Now your game will function with different size initial screens at the start of the application. Subscribe to the channel for the next video where we have Keiko and Ken, our two star cross lovers, moving across the screen and attempting to meet.